Tonight, more questions than answers remain in the deadly crash at Victoria International Airport. Friday afternoon, a speeding car slammed into a picnic table full of cab drivers waiting for their next fares. A 57-year-old man was killed. Seven others were injured, including the elderly woman driving the car. Family of the dead driver are flying in from India, and funeral arrangements are being made for the husband and father of three. As A News reporter Louise Hartland shows us, the cabbie community is in shock. Another bouquet of flowers is placed at a growing memorial at Victoria International Airport. I just brought a flower here to uh, you know, remind all of us here you know, to be vigilant about you know, life itself. Just be happy for, to, you know, to the fullest. Cab drivers paying tribute to a friend and co-worker gone too soon. On Friday afternoon, eight taxi drivers were sitting at a picnic table playing cards when a car came barreling towards them. Uh, they didn't even have time to, you know, to run or to jump out of the way. It happened so quick and so fast. Ramesh Sharma was one of the men sitting at the table. Witnesses say he was dragged under the car for several meters before the white sedan kept going, taking out a luggage cart stand and eventually stopping when it hit the side of a security building on the east side of the airport. In all, eight people were taken to hospital, including Sharma, who later died, and the driver of the car. The Vancouver Island Health Authority says three people remain in hospital. I understand one of them has three broken ribs, and the other one has uh, pretty serious injuries to his back. The 82-year-old female driver of the white car is listed in stable condition at Victoria General Hospital. RCMP are staying mute on what could have caused this deadly crash, saying the investigation is still ongoing. It will include checking the vehicle for any modifications. The car is rumored to have had hand controls. The cab drivers say they have sat at the picnic table every day for 20 years and never worried about being hit by a car. The positioning of the table was strategic. Because we can see the uh, arrivals and how many cars are needed, I, you can see right now that there's just three cars down there and uh, when the flights start coming in we just move the cars up. Staff at the airport and his colleagues are in mourning for the father of three who gave everything for his family. He lived a good life and he had a family and it's pretty sad. It's hard to realize he's gone, just like that. Sharma's family and friends will now pick up where he left off, making sure his widow and children have the support they need during this difficult time and in the years to come. In North Saanich, Louise Hartland, A News.